Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Stealth Iron Man URS Wave. It's got a nice little open window, nice image of a Stealth Iron Man on the back, along with the cool image on the back with the rest of the figures in the way. But we'll go and get this guy opened up and we'll check out the details. So it comes with the left leg. Also comes with two uh, repulsor blast hands. You got the little pegs in the front, which we've seen before. It's got some red blast effects, which are, I don't think we have red ones. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember. Usually it's always kind of blue or kind of yellowish orange, but yeah, just straight red. And here we have our Stark head. We're just looking straight forward, just pretty stern face, just black hair. Overall, looks pretty good. Um, I will compare it to the last Stark head, but Stark flesh head. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on to Stealth Iron Man. All right, looking at Stealth Iron Man, it looks really cool. You can see the nice red in the eyes and mouth. It does have like a lighter blue on the face plate and then the darker blue on the uh, rest of the head. It's got that marbleized look to it. So you can kind of see some sparkling and swirling in the plastic. And you can see just the necklines and then it comes down to the chest. You have the red arc reactor with some more plugs on the front here. And then it continues with that marbleized. It looks actually really cool. I kind of like that shine and it almost gives it that pearlescent, uh, you know, paint app look, but it continues with the blue and down to the little arms, forearms, I mean, got the little gauntlet and then the fists continues down. So you can see that more of that swirl looks really cool, but it's just nice, uh, you know, nice shine to it. And then on the back here, you got the line work on the lower body, you got the little circles here. I mean, otherwise it's pretty plain. <laughs> mainly just that nice uh, shiny kind of glossed over blue plastic and it goes down to the darker blue for the uh, feet area with more of those lines looks good all right going over the articulation head looks left and right side to side got ball joints in the shoulders those arms kind of loose forward and back upper bicep swivel get this guy back in focus for you double jointed elbow so it's nice and tight wrist rotation also a hinge at the wrist Got the nice ab crunch, crunch is down about that much, arches back pretty far. Waist swivel kicks up about that high, spreads about that much. And these do move out of the way. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no boot. Ro wait, is there? Yep, there we go. Boot rotation, just really tight for me. Ankles move down, move up, and you guys have nice ankle rockers and pegles bottom of the feet. So, I'll show you guys how tall Stealth Iron Man is. Really quick, here he is with the blast effect with the alternate hand. Very cool. I do wish this hand again had the hinge because I hate when I have to pull these off. I feel like I put a lot of pressure when I'm pulling on that little peg. So I just feel like over time that will definitely break. And then here he is helmetless. Looks pretty cool. All right, so Iron Man stand, a little over six inches. Here he is next to the awesome series one variant from Toy Biz. And, and then here he is as the stealth variant from the Terax Wave, I believe. And now the two pack Toys R Us exclusive variant. See the common key here is uh, all the other past stealth Iron Mans have always been variants for the six inch, it seems like. But anyway, overall, I think it's a really nice figure. Definitely looks cool with the rest of them. They all kind of stand out uh, in their different ways, but it's a really nice figure. Um, yeah, I don't really have too many complaints about it. I know it's just a reuse of the 80th anniversary Iron Man, but still looks really good. Anyway, let me guys know what you guys think of this figure. Uh, I still like probably series one just because I feel like it's taking me forever to get them. I just, I don't know, have a lot of uh, attachment to that one. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll talk to you later. Take care.